my name is Ray Weirs, and I'm the president of Calliope Games. I'd like to introduce you to a little project that we're working on called the Titan Series. The Titan Series is a series of games by your favorite game designers, people that you know and respect within the gaming industry. This Kickstarter is going to launch in January, and we would like to introduce you to some of the great game designers that are going to be part of that. Here's my interview with Seth Johnson. Certainly what I really enjoy about tabletop games is how each time you play through a game it's a really unique experience. It's not just who wins and who loses, but what happens along the way and the stories of those games that are told for years afterwards. My name is Seth Johnson and I'm a game designer and writer. Professionally I've been in the game industry for about 20 years, uh, but I've been making games since I was a little kid. Back in high school uh, I had been spending uh, most of the evening playing a game of Axis and Allies, uh, but it was getting near the end of the evening and uh, it was pretty clear that Japan was going to win and so the German player actually threw in with the Allies and turned to try and attack Japan and it, it kind of went against the spirit of the game and in some ways against the rules but uh, it was a lot of fun just to see how the game could change and a really unique story that could come out of the game and I, I learned a lot about games that night. Uh, at WizKids I'm probably best known for the work I did with Heroclix. I worked on DC Heroclix and Marvel Heroclix and Star Trek Heroclix and Bioshock Heroclix and Lord of the Rings Heroclix and pretty much if it was Heroclix I did it for a number of years. Uh, also worked on Mage Knight while I was there and touched on a number of different games I did. Uh, before that I worked for a company called Human Head Studios that produced video games and I've freelanced all across the industry for any number of different companies. One of the games I'm actually most proud of uh, isn't one that was actually showed up in game stores at all. It was done for the Next 50 Festival down at the Seattle Center here in Seattle. And it was a game that taught kids about polio and the efforts that we're making to uh, contain and eradicate it. Uh, played out on a large people scale board that the kids could walk around on and, and take actions and learn while having fun. Uh, some of my favorite games I'm currently playing, I'm playing a lot of Ticket to Ride since the 10th anniversary set came out. That's one of my favorite games and it's a beautiful edition of it. Uh, playing a lot of Quantum, which is a really fun space dice game. Looking forward to playing a lot of Pairs now that it just came out. Uh, also Can't Stop by one of my favorite game designers, Sid Saxon, and uh, Lost Cities, which is uh, one of my favorite two-player games that my wife and I like to play. Uh, when I'm not making games, uh, I spend a lot of time playing with my, my baby daughter, and uh, where I spend a lot of time out exploring the world with her and with my wife. We go on hikes, and we go to bookstores, we go to toy stores, and things like that. Um, but uh, I do find that almost inevitably uh, my thoughts turn back towards games. We were talking about how it's and coming towards flu season, how we should get flu shots. And uh, kind of by the end of the conversation, I put together a game about staying healthy and fighting the flu in my head. So uh, I, I don't think there's really a way to completely get away from game design. You know, that's why we love you so much, Seth. Well, thanks. <laughs> Thank you very much for being part of this project. Well, and and thanks we're really excited to have you. Yeah, I'm really excited to be a part of it. There should be some really great games coming out of it. From all of us at Calliope Games, thanks for watching, and we hope that you're going to enjoy the Titan series.